the Birmingham Bowl gives us Houston and Auburn. And this one is at uh, noon Eastern time on Tuesday, December 28th. It's at Protective Stadium, the new stadium in downtown Birmingham. The gifts on this one, gift suite, hat, ice shaker bottle, and a shadow kit. You know what the hell a shadow kit is? No. I have no idea. That's pretty weird. Auburn favored by two and a half on this. The total is sitting at 51 and a half. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you this. That 51 and a half seems like it might be too many points. These are two pretty good defenses. Uh, but Auburn, good gracious. Like, uh, Bo Nix was not playing anyway because he was injured. But he is transferred over, and they have got a slew of guys that are not going to play in this game. Let's see if I can read them off here. Running back Sean Shivers, he's transferring and not playing. Uh, wide receiver Elijah Canyon. Safety Ladarius Tennyson. Defensive end Caleb Johnson. Offensive guard Tayshawn Manning. And they also have star cornerback Roger McCreary. Starting linebacker Zacoby McLean. Right tackle Bradarius Ham that are opting out to prep for the NFL. And their starting center, Nick Brahms, is going to be out after undergoing surgery. They also don't have their offensive coordinator. Mike Bobo, like he is fired, he's gone. I I don't know what Auburn is going to look like. Uh, This is the first time T.J. Finley will have gotten starters reps for an entire basically off season. He's gonna he's got 15 practices leading up to this game, so I'm curious what T.J. Finley looks like. Uh, But Houston is is a good team, even though Dana Holgerson has not been great in bowl games. He's won seven against the spread his last seven bowl games uh, between here and at West Virginia. But I, I tend to think this is a spot with Houston catching points that they'll be able to muster up. It, it, all the stuff that's coming out of Houston right now seems like they are really fired up for this game. They they are missing their star cornerback, Marcus Jones. He's sitting out to prep for the NFL. But other than that, everybody else is playing. Clayton Toon, uh, all those guys. So I think the way that they got embarrassed by Cincinnati, they... They might come out guns a-blazing on this one, and who knows what to expect from Auburn. I'll I'll take Houston to cover that two-and-a-half here. Yeah, I'm 100% with you on all of those fronts. I think Auburn, uh, you know, people say it's a de facto home game and they'll have a bunch of crowd there, and that that's probably true, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the players on the field and and their, their want to be there. I, I do think Houston, Dana's getting better. You know what, what, what he's building there and what he's developing there is, is I think something that's going to be pretty special, and 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 I think they can play good defense. I think they can play good offense, and and I think they can win this football game. I think they will win the football game. Yeah, that's that's the way that I'm going on that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.